The sun is a star like those seen in the sky. It is at the center of the solar system and there's life on Earth thanks to heat and light from the sun. It's like a giant fireball. Neptune is covered by a thick gaseous layer and is very cold because it's very far from the sun. It looks like a blue-green disk with a telescope. Uranus has many moons that circle around it. It has one, two, three, twenty-seven moons. Can you imagine how it would be here on Earth if we had so many moons? Saturn is well known thanks to its fabulous bright rings. These rings are formed by millions of ice particles. It's pretty, isn't it? Jupiter is a giant planet that's formed by gases and does not have a solid surface. It is the largest planet in the solar system. It is huge. It's as big as all the other planets together. Mars is a very dry planet, like a desert, and it's covered in red sand. That's why it's called the red planet. Have people ever gone to Mars? No but we've sent spaceships and robots to explore the planet. Maybe an astronaut will arrive there someday. Earth is the only planet in the solar system where there is life. Like all planets of the solar system, it revolves around the sun, following a path we call an orbit. It takes a year to go around the sun and one day to revolve once on itself. The sun is Venus is about the size of Earth and is composed of the same rocky materials. But we could not live there because it's much hotter and is covered in volcanoes and poisonous gases. Mercury is the planet closest to the sun and the smallest of the eight in the solar system. During the day, it is very hot, but at night, it's very cold. On the surface, there are many craters caused by meteorites that have crashed there. For many years, it was believed that Pluto was a planet. But finally, scientists have agreed that it is a dwarf planet. And yes, you've guessed right, it's very small. Comets are cosmic snowballs formed by rock, ice, and dust. When they pass close to the sun, they heat up and develop a tail. Asteroids are objects made principally of rock and metal that orbit the sun. They're smaller than a planet, and most are circling within the same region, the asteroid belt. There are some that, from time to time, pass close to Earth. Break the asteroid into small pieces to prevent it from crashing into the Earth.
A telescope is a device that allows you to see very distant space objects, such as the moon or other planets. They're very powerful ones. It's hard to have one at home, but you can ask at school if they have one. To observe the planets and the stars, you don't need anything special. At first sight, you can see many constellations and some planets. With binoculars, you get to see the planets Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. You can also observe the moon very well. But be careful, it's very important that you never look at the sun with binoculars. You could burn your eyes. The constellations are groups of stars that form an imaginary drawing. There are 88 constellations and most of them were imagined by the Greeks more than 2,000 years ago. The moon is the only natural satellite of planet Earth. Although it shines, the moon does not produce any light. It only reflects the light of the sun. Has anyone ever been to the moon? Yes! So far, 12 people have gone there, but nobody has gone for years. The first person to walk on the moon was Neil Armstrong in 1969. Would you like to go? It must be a fantastic experience. Shooting stars are not really stars. They're meteors that cross through the atmosphere of the Earth. Those meteors heat up a lot when they cross through the atmosphere until they almost become fireballs. The solar system is part of the Milky Way, a giant galaxy that contains billions of stars. Scientists believe that there's a black hole in the middle that absorbs everything that passes too close. It is possible to see the Milky Way stretching across the sky at night like a cloudy, luminous strip. An observatory is a place where there are large telescopes to see and study space. They're usually in high places and where there's little light pollution. Some observatories can be visited, and they even let you look through their telescopes. If you have one nearby, you can suggest a visit to your parents or your teachers. To observe the planets and the stars, you don't need anything special. At first sight, you can see many constellations and some planets. With binoculars, you get to see the planets Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. You can also observe the moon very well. But be careful, it's very important that you never look at the sun with binoculars. You could burn your eyes. Did you know that not everyone sees the same stars in the sky? You can see some stars in the northern hemisphere, and you can see others in the southern hemisphere. So there are boys and girls who, when they look at the sky, do not see the same stars as you. Drag each constellation according to where you can see it from the Northern Hemisphere or the Southern Hemisphere. Remove the clouds to see the stars.
Do you know how big each planet is? Show it. Break the asteroid into small pieces to prevent it from crashing into the Earth. <coughs> Order the planets from the closest to the farthest from the Sun. Draw the Earth's orbit around the Sun.